I always tell my clients that a greatly shaped brow and a great looking brow is almost like a mini facelift. About every six weeks, I ask myself, what's going on with your brows, girl? And I have a tendency to ask my clients the same thing because I wax and I color a lot of brows. But for the sake of today's video, we're not gonna really talk about the shape of your brow. We're gonna be talking about how I color my brows. So for those of you out there who might have gray hair in your brows, your brows might be a little sparse and or they might be a little thin, this is the video for you. What's up, guys? It's your girl, Sharon, and I wanna welcome you to our channel where we inspire a lift and empower you to go great one strand at a time with style and confidence and we also talk about all things anti-aging from hair beauty makeup skincare and even fashion in 2023 if you are ready to give your brow that fuller and thicker look make sure that you watch this video to the end because i have some bonus tips that i would love to share with you regardless of where you're starting with your brows so these are some items that you will need to color your brow. So you want to have a brow brush. You want to have a little Vaseline or any kind of clear item that you can use for your skin. You want to have some cotton band. You want to have a Q-tip and you want to have a color of your choice. Whatever color that you're going to use to color your brows. And we will get into the colors that I would recommend you use and that I use on my brows as well. And you want to have a cleaning solution like an alcohol what I'm going to use today. So let's get into coloring these brows, right? So the first thing you want to do is you want to clean the brow with an antiseptic. So, so I'm going to spray it on this cotton and I'm just going to clean my brow. And I can tell you one thing you want to caution. You don't want your skin to irritate. So you want to make sure that you color your brows and then you wax your brows. Okay, so if you're going to color them at home and then go get them waxed by a professional, then do that first. But for the sake of the video, I wax mine first and then I'm going to color, color them because I'm a professional and I know what I'm doing. Okay, so sometimes if you color them first and then you go to a professional to wax them, they may put too much wax on your skin. If you wax them first and then color them, then your skin could really, really irritate badly. So um, a lot of times, you know, some people who wax brows, they use a lot of wax. The wax is hot, your skin irritates, and you know that when you're waxing your skin, it takes layers and layers off of your skin. So you just want to be very, very mindful. Make sure that you color them first and maybe then a day or two later, you go get your brows waxed, okay? So now that's the first step we want to do. And I'm going to be looking at my notes because I don't want to forget anything. So you want to clean your skin first. You can notice that my skin is clean and I did wax them first. My brows originally um, were a lot thicker than this. You really want to pay attention to what your brows look like when you were younger so that you can pretty much match your brows, right? Because I, I see a lot of people go get that tattoo brow and they have a small face and or they have an even narrow face and the brow is just too huge. So you want to make sure that you're you're kind of mirroring what your brows look like when you were younger. You don't if they were not so so thick, you don't want them to be huge, right? You want it to be a natural look on your brow. So that's the same thing with when you're coloring your brow. The next step we're going to do is I'm going to take a little Q-tip and just go around my brow with a little Vaseline. The purpose of this is just to protect your skin. And I'm going to look in the mirror over here because I can see a little bit better. So you want to just put it in the front and just all around each brow, you're going to put a little Vaseline. And two things, this is going to help to protect your skin and it's also going to help you when it comes to discoloring your skin because although you want to be as neat as possible sometimes sometimes you will get a little bit of color on your skin so for that purpose any type of little oil just to protect your skin around the brow so that's that and it's just like a little clear gel consistency like I said you can go old school use the Vaseline right <laughs> so the next thing we want to do is mix your desired color so let's talk a little bit about color so I'm a professional right and so I use Joyco that's what I use to color my brows it's just a basic color I mean I color a lot of gray hair so it's just I don't have to go into a store and just buy some type of brow color I just use the basic color there's so many brow colors that you can use on the market so just choose one and pretty much they're all made the same and so what I do want to let you know about right here is my brand new Amazon influencer storefront called the salon chat and you'll find your brow color in my store probably under 
the skin and beauty section. Some of Sharon's favorite things will be found in the Amazon Influencer Store. And your girl earns commission when you purchase from my store. It'll help out our platform and enable us to continue to make amazing content like we do over here on the salon chat. So when you're picking a color, you want to stick with um, the colors that you had again when you were younger. I always say kind of go back to what you had because that's your natural brow, right? Because our brows are thinner, because our brows have more gray in them, it's our natural brow now. But when we want to enhance that natural brow, then you want to pick a color, make, say like, I hardly ever tell anyone to pick black. However, if you know that back in the day, your hair was just like totally, totally black, then I say go for it choose black now I'm just giving you this advice to just help you out a little bit you can choose whatever color you want to choose but my professional advice is for you to choose like either a dark brown medium brown or light brown because a lot of women have especially african-american women we have so many different hair color ranges and i'm specifically talking about coloring brows for gray hair especially if you have gray hair in your brows but when you're choosing your color you want to make sure that it's rich is deep it gives your brow depth and depth makes your brow look and appear a lot fuller right i always say stick with like a, a a neutral shade most of the colors that i use for my brows are professional like i said i use the joyco and mine is the color i choose is 3n but if you're just gonna pick a brow kit which i highly recommend you do so in our amazon storefront in our makeup section or makeup category you can find the brow color so instead of actually going out and just trying to choose a clairol color or a color that you would have used on your hair in the past then it's really safer to just go get a brow color kit and most of those are like cooler tones that you're going to use on your brow so you might it might be dark brown you might find black, you might have a medium brown, but just try to match the color that you really want on your brows. And I tend to like my brows like a little bit darker than this right here. However, I don't like black, okay? I will not wear, cause my brows were a dark brown. They never been like black, black because they had so much hair in them. They kind of look black, but they were mostly like a dark brown. So the next thing you're gonna do, of course, after you choose your color, you're gonna mix that kit together. Make sure that you follow very closely the manufacturer's suggested usage for that particular kit. And the difference might be very, very minute, but you wanna make sure that you do follow that kit. So here's a caution, and I want you to listen. Listen up. <laughs> so you've colored your hair in the past, right? You've colored your hair before, and you haven't colored in a long time, especially if your hair is gray, right? So if you stop coloring your hair, you want to make sure that as you've aged, you have not developed any allergic reaction to color. So just because you used to color your hair all the time and you never had allergic reaction to color does not necessarily mean that you can't have allergic reaction to color later on. So if you are planning on coloring your brows, I highly recommend that you do a patch test on your skin to make sure that you do not irritate, you, your, your brows don't grow and you know, become the largest part of your face <laughs> meaning the skin on your brows or your face doesn't swell up from coloring your brows okay so you can't come back to this video and say well sharon did not tell us about the patch test right so sometimes when i'm doing color i have to do a patch test on my if, if it's a newer client and she's never had color i've never colored her hair before so pretty much a patch test um is you're going to clean two sections of your skin with an alcohol or some kind of antiseptic behind your ear and also maybe the inner fold of your elbow so right here right once you mix your color up you're going to take a little bit of that color and just mix enough portion to to actually do the patch test so it doesn't have to be a lot and once you clean once you clean those areas you're just going to take a little bit of that color and just put it right on your skin and then right here on your skin and then just leave it for 24 hours if your skin doesn't swell up or if you don't wake up and your your face is the size of a uh i don't know huge 
<laughs> then it's safe to color your brows, okay? So most of your brow color kits will probably give you that same information, right? So please adhere to that information. Now, if you go ahead and just color your brows without doing that because you know you're you're the girl that wore color all the time, you're like, no, I'm not allergic to color, then I would just say, go ahead, get it done and have fun. However, if you've had any type of skin irritants or any type of allergic reactions recently to other things, or if you've had skin issues, then make sure it be safe and just do the patch test because I don't want you coming back to this video saying that Sharon didn't talk about that patch test, all right? So just to be safe, I want everybody to be safe and look amazing and not have your brows grow huge or your skin grow huge around your brows. So just be safe, all right? So the next thing we're gonna do is actually color the brows. So you're just gonna use like a little stick like this. You can use a stick like this. And what you wanna do first also is just brush the brow so that you can make sure the hairs are nice and smooth. And then you wanna take the color and just pat it. Just make sure that you try to just pat the color. And this little stick I use for waxing. And make sure that your, your application is neat. If color is dripping off of your tool that you're using to apply the color, then um, that's too much color. It should be a very, very clean application. And I'll tell you what to do with the excess that has not landed on the brow. I'm gonna look in here just so I can make sure I'm getting all of the brow hair. Make sure you get all of your brow hair. And you can even use this, this little stick, or you can use a basic Q-tip for your application. So let's go ahead and put it on the other brow. I'm probably in the way, but you can see, right? Okay, yeah, I can see that you can see. Last little section. Now, if you notice that it's a lot on my skin, right? But that's okay for right now. You can even, even take a little eyeshadow applicator and just take it and go up under your brow and wipe all the excess off underneath your skin. And sometimes I just use my finger if I want. You can actually wipe this makeup off, makeup applicator off, and then just go on top, clean it. And just keep wiping it until you clean all the excess from around the brow hair. Because you don't want to take the, you don't want to take the color off the brow and then have your skin stained, okay? So you want to make sure that you're taking it all off so that you only have color on your skin. I'm sorry, you only wanna have color. You wanna make sure that you only have color in your brow and that your skin is not stained. So once you get all that cleaned off and if you need to, use a smaller tool like the Q-tip and just remove it from your skin. Really make it really clean. So again, you don't, you wanna make sure that it's not all on your skin and that's the, really the purpose of using that Vaseline also is to make sure that you're not staining your skin. So once you apply you want to make sure that leave it on for about 10 to 15 minutes. 15 minutes at the most is really all you need because your brow hairs grow pretty fast. They grow and then they shed, they grow and they shed. So I probably end up doing this about every two to three months. I don't do it that often but it's really just to give my brow a fuller look and I still fill it in my brows, but it makes it easier so that I don't have to fill them in as much, okay? So that is the main purpose that I color my brows. So here are a few tips when choosing colors. Try to prevent from using jet black. Look back at previous pictures of your younger brows and try to duplicate their color even with gray hair. You may want to lighten up the shade a bit from your younger years. I don't have gray hairs in my brows, so I don't have to worry about covering up grays. If you do, you may want to choose a darker color. So because I don't have gray hair in my brows, most times I don't have to choose black. So instead of a medium brown base, you might want to use a dark brown if you have gray hair in your brow. So if you do have over 50% gray hair in your brow, you may want to even choose black or darkest brown. So make sure that you set your timer for five to 20 minutes based on the information that I just shared with you. And then I'll come back and tell you exactly what to do next. So make sure that you do a little peak test um, kind of halfway through your process. So that is just take a little bit off the brow and kind of look at, well, that's a mess. <laughs> just take a little bit off the brow and you can see if the brow is getting 
darker, which it is. And if you're not completely satisfied with the color yet, just make sure you always have a little bit of color left and just kind of like reapply in that little area. So you want to do that little step mm, about halfway through your process. After that's done, leave it on for about another five minutes and you should be good. So the max time is probably about 15 to 20 minutes based on what you're starting with as far as your brows are concerned. So after your 10 to 20 minutes, whatever desired length of time that you're gonna leave the color on your brows, you wanna just make sure that now is the time to wipe everything off your brows and so that you can take a look. But before, make sure that you use a dry pad first and just start from the first part of the brow all the way to the end. Wipe all that color off your brow and do the same thing on the other side. So make sure you start with a dry pad, wipe it all off your brow, and then you wanna take a pad, you wanna spray alcohol on it, and just make sure that you clean the brow. So just clean it really, really good, free of the color, and also free of the Vaseline that you might have put on your skin prior to. Now, just give them a little brush. Now, this brow over here is a little thicker than my other brow. So, it's of course, it's not going to color exactly the same, but I think it colored pretty good. So, if you notice, you can see a difference in the brow color. And I use a 3N, so it's like a... Mm, it's more like a medium brown. It's the color that I use by Joyco. So that's it. If you notice this brow, you see how much thicker that is than this? Now, if you wanna learn more about filling in your brows, make sure that you watch this video right here. So it shows you and it explains to you in depth the basic look with your brows, how you can fill it in and make it look just like a basic look a beauty look and also a bold look for your brow so make sure that you don't miss out on this video right here so after you've gotten the brow color completed let's take a look i think it looks pretty good what do you guys think let me know in the comments what you think about the results of brow coloring i'm going to give you a few bonus tips with your brows so i only color my brows every two three months right i don't have to color them that often and to be honest sometimes now this is my clean face. This is my face with no makeup. I have no makeup on. I have a little bit of moisturizer on my skin, but no makeup. And it's very rare that I don't wear makeup. I usually wear makeup every day, but it's not like a full face. It might be a little powder. But what you wanna make sure is that even though you've colored your brows, you still wanna do a little bit of touching up to your brows and um, just to give them that fuller look, that amazing look with your makeup so that if your brows are shorter on the ends, you wanna make sure that you fill in the brows a little bit on the ends. And it's just, it's really not for like, for me coloring my brows, it's not a vein type of thing. It's just that I wanna just look better when I go out in these streets. Like I don't wanna be walking around looking like, you know, I'm not put together, right? That's just me. I'm in the fashion industry. I'm in the beauty industry. So that's just me. And I know a lot of people comment in the comment section below saying they, they love their natural beauty. This right here, yeah, I, I showed up on camera with my natural beauty. I go outside with my natural beauty. However, it's just the way I want to look and I want to feel about myself. So if you, this is what you want to look like every day without no makeup, it's fine. However, if you want to just enhance your beauty, just to make you feel a little bit better, and why not try to have fun with makeup? Why not add and color your brows and enhance your brows and enhance your face sometimes so that you can just look and feel better about yourself from the inside out? So if you want to just have a plain face and never put on makeup, that's fine. But I always say, if you want to wear that basic face, make sure that your brows look nice, at least. Make sure that you have at least a fuller brow because it's just going to give you a more glow to your face, a more glow to your skin. Trust me, if you see a before brow, before it's waxed, and an after brow, almost like the shape of your body, just like a shape of a garment to your body, and it makes you have that perfect silhouette. It's almost like your brows. 
if you just give your brows a little bit of enhancement and color and or shaping be it waxing or plucking it just gives your face a total glow another bonus tip is if you start feeling any type of irritation with the color on your skin you want to make sure that you remove it immediately if you're not sure if you have color or skin allergies with color make sure that you do a patch test first or a skin test before coloring your brows let me know down in the comment section below if you if you've colored your brows before and what success you've had if you are planning to color your brows and or if you have more questions about coloring your brows and if you have colored your brows what did you like most and did you like the look that you received after coloring your brows so I hope you guys love this video and that you learned a little bit more about coloring your brows and why it's important to maybe enhance your brows and shape your brows as well if you love community like I do, make sure that you join our private Facebook community, Grown Girls Go Gray. And all of the links that we mentioned here in this video can be found in the description section right under the video. And make sure that you check out our brand new apparel store. I'm so excited that our apparel store now is displayed right under the video for your shopping convenience. So until the next time guys, Take care. Peace.